Ni siku njema ambayo bwana ameifanya. Tuko ndani ya kikao cha semana JG. JG ni mimi. Tunakuletea mahojiano ya moja kwa moja ambayo yanakujia kutoka Gracia Gardens Hotel. Hoteli ambayo iko Dennis Street Road Kilimani. And mahojiano haya yako sponsor dama yanaletwa kwako kwa isani ya Digital Sako. Kama ungependa kuwa mwanachama hakikisha kwamba unabonyeza star 847 hash star 847 hash Hileo, tumebarikiwa tumebahatika kuwa na mrembo kutoka Busia anajulikana kama Eva na Mulanda. Na Mulanda. Oh my god. Juzi <laughs> nilikuwa na mrembo mwingine tena kutoka Busia. Eh. Warembo wa Busia. Wow, muna mambo nyinyi warembo kweli. Asante. <laughs> Karibu sana. Mm. Now Iva na Mlanda. Yes. Unafanya nini? Mimi sasa kwa sasa mimi ni msanii. Mhm. Mm Naimba secular, niko na band ya rumba, tunachanganya changanya. Okay. Uh, besides that pia niko na ka Eve's collections. Okay. Eh uh, wanauza nguo. Oh, unatembeza tembeza. Natembeza tembeza kwa wale wateja wenye na tunajuana. Okay. Yeah. Na um, band ni yako uniform. Eh hey, band ni yangu niliform. Okay. Iko na watu wangapi? Tuko watu kumi na moja. I think siku moja nilikuona kwa roga roga. Was it around Valentine? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you the one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, nilikuwa nilikuwa kama special guest mm. both on uh, radio mm -hmm. and on television. Yes, nilikuona. Uh -huh. Band ulianza aje? Band? Mm nikiwa Mombasa hiyo ni story nyingine tena mm, mm. you know in life we have uh, pages of our lives true so that's um, uh, just a chapter of my life mm. when i was in Mombasa mm. niki hustle niki hustle niki hustle mm. sasa kukaja kwa kakua kwa hustle kwenye pia kumekuwa kugumu kiasi mm -hmm. so nikaona unajua binadamu lazima kuwe na survival tactics mm. as in mungu alitupea uhai yeah. akatupatia akili mm. so lazima tutumie akili kabisa e, na usipotumia akili utakwama mm. so survival ilivyokuwa ngumu kidogo na nikaona niko na talent ya kushona ya mm. kuimba mm. nika decide wacha niruke kwanza ya kuimba kwanza okay so nika nikawa kuna group walikuwa wanatafuta <coughs> binti wa kuimba nao uh -huh. kwa sababu kanda bongo man alikuwa anakuja Kenya. Oh. Alikuwa anakuja perform. Mm. So akaona mwenye anaweza kumback up mm. nikawa niko hapo hapo karibu karibu mm -hmm. nikachukua hiyo opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Uimbaji ulianza ukiwa mdogo ama ah, ni kitu tu ulishtukia kumbe ninaweza nikaimba? Uimbaji nilianza nikuwa mdogo sana. Okay. Nakumbuka baba alikuwa akiniambia ati nikuwa mdogo. Mm hata hakuwa anatumia radio yake. Mm -mm. Maana sasa mimi ndo nilikuwa entertainment <laughs> kwa nyumba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, mm. So nilikuwa napenda sana nikitoka shuleni kila kitu ambacho mwalimu ametufunza. Mm. Na pia kutunga tunga tu wimbo wimbo kuna vinyimbo nilikuwa natunga tunga tu vidogo vidogo. Mm. Sasa mama na baba walikuwa wakifurahia sana wakicheka. Mm. Eh, kwa sababu nakumbuka mama akinambia mm. eh, alianza unajua waluya. Mm. Wanapenda wakizao wazao watoto wavulana kwanza. Mm -hmm. So mama alizaa msichana wa kwanza, mm. dadangu wa kwanza, mm. dadangu mkubwa. Wa pili akawa tena msichana. Mm. Watatu ikawa sasa ni mimi akitarajia kijana tena ikawa ni msichana. msichana. Lakini akatoka msichana mwenye vituko kabisa kama kijana tu. Kama, <laughs> kama mvulana. <laughs> eh hey, vituko yani tofauti kabisa. Mm -hmm. So baba akachukua hiyo fursa kunipenda kukuwa karibu sana na mimi. Okay. Kwa sababu maybe angeniachilia. Mm sijui kama ninge survive. Okay. Yeah, so akakaa karibu sana na mimi mm. na akani support mambo ya kuimba imba akawa mm. kila nikiimba na anafurahia. Ana appreciate. Ana appreciate. Uh, bandi yako inajulikana kama kwa sababu labda kuna mtu anatizama mm. uh, haya mahojiano angependa labda akualike akuite uperform. Mm. Uh, bandi yako inajulikana? Inaitwa Keko International Band. Mm -hmm. Keko. Eh hey, Keko. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tunatumbuiza kwa kila aina ya sherehe. Mm. Mm. Watu harusi, harusi. Mm -hmm. Sana sana watu wanapatikana Sunday Stead Mark Gardens Hotel. Mm -hmm. Watu kwa huko. Okay. Alafu Friday na Saturday tuko sio kimao. Oh. Mm. Wow. Okay. Na nambari ya simu labda ungependa kupeana? Mm. Na, lakini mm. 
Chapa pigiwa na Chapa pigiwa na Kila mtu wata kupigia eh, Hapati kana kwa mtandao okay. Instagram Eve na mlanda mm -hmm. Facebook Eve na mlanda mm -hmm. Hata Youtube Eve na mlanda okay. Na hata natunga nyimbo zangu mi mwenyewe mm. Ziko za harusi mm. Za chere tofauti, tofauti okay. Zote ziko kwa Youtube Eve na mlanda. Eve na mlanda tu. So, Eve na mlanda, mi nilitarajia vile nilikualika, utafika hapa na mze wako. Yuko hapi? <laughs> mze. <laughs> mze ni history. <laughs> mze, mze ni history kwa nini? Mze. Eh. Ah, waze. <coughs> Ukisema mze. Eh. Unajia kuna wanawake ingine ukitaja tuji na mze mm. kwa takasirika. Lakini mimi, mm. na cheka kwa sababu, mm -hmm. ili nipatia inspirations na mm. strength to move on. Ok. Iyo, iyo jina tu ya mze iyo. Kwa nilifanyika jiva? Well, nikimaliza shule, mm. I was just 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Young, vibrant, mm -hmm. full of life. Beautiful. Eh, yes. Na kale kamuguka ka kiluye. Uh -huh. Sasa, mm -hmm. kuna dadangu mkubwa yifanya Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm -hmm. eh, baba likuwa mgonjwa. Mm -hmm. Sasa, nilikuwa nimekuja kuhishi na ye kutamaktamak. So, nojazi siku zetu hizo siku. Ukimaza shule, lazima ukuja kwanza utamaktamak. Kambo mgoja, mambo ya college, nini. Mm -hmm. Sasa, baba likuwa mgonjwa, akanambia. Mm -hmm. Nende nyumbani ni mchukue ni mlete atibiwe. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu sasa yeye yeah, yafanya kazi pale. Okay. Eh. Mm. Sasa ndo huyo country bus. Mhm. Mm Nikajipata niko kwa gari. Mm. Kwa basi naenda wapi? Mm. Busia. Mm. Sasa kwa basi ndo nikakutana na mtu huyo niongelesha. Kwa basi. Kwa basi. Najua nilikuwa na mrembo mwingine hapa hapa aliniambia likutana. <laughs> na ni wa kutoka Busia. Aliniambia likutana na mtu wake tena kwa basi. Uh -huh. Sasa ilikuwa kwa basi. Mm. Asa huyu akawa na niongelesha ongelesha. Unajua sa baba alikuwa sana, sana karibu na mimi. Mm. Sana nikawa na asema, hey, baba mgonjwa hiyo, kale ka stress tu kidogo kidogo. Mm -hmm. By then sasa nilikuwa 19. Mm. E, sasa akawa na niongelesha vizuri, tukifika na kuru, waka, tukashuka, mm -hmm. kanibaya kachakula pale, mm -hmm. hey, na huu karimu wote. Mm. Ok, tukifika busia. Mm. Haka nipeleka hadi hospitalini penye baba alikuwa melazwa. Yepi alikuwa naenda busia? Yeah, pia alikuwa naenda busia. Eh, ama kama alikuwa naenda kwengine, ama mm. alikuwa, ama li, aliona tu, endeleshe safari na mimi. Mm. Tulipofika busia, tukenda kwa hospitali, tukamona mm -hmm. baba, hata baba kaniuza uni nani, kamba uni rafiki yangu, tumipata tu wapi. Mm. Kumbe, hizo kampuni zilikuwa za mjomba hake. Oh. Zo kampuni za mash express. Mm -hmm. Za basi. Eh, mm -hmm. Zilikuwa za mjomba hake, alikuwa yafanya pale. Mm -hmm. Sasa, Pia ye kumbe yalikuwa mmoja wa wafanyi kazi wa pale. Ok. Sasa, hata hivu wakatubukia tena gari ya kurudi sisi sote wapi? Nairobi. Buri. Eh. Hey. Bila malipo. Bila malipo. Mm -hmm. Sasa tulifika hizo siku wakukuwa na masimu. Mm. Lakini akatupeleka mpaka hospitali. Nika, nika, tu, baba akashulikiwa. Mm -hmm. Matibabu kila kitu. Mm. Aka nipeleka mpaka kwa dadangu. Sasa akajua pale. Mm. Itambo likuwa nifuate direction ama call box. Ama hii i, i booth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sasa namba yenye alipata ni ya sister yangu. Sasa akawa anapiga kila mara akiwa Nairobi ananiita tunakutana. Mm -hmm. Katika alia, you, you know your mm -hmm. nose looks like this and my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Na penzi pia akaingilia. Unajua eh? unlike Paul actually. Yes. Attract mm -hmm. and it's normal. Mm -hmm. Unajua you are still young. Sasa mm -hmm. do, you need to experience a lot of things. Unajua kwa shule mm -hmm. it's like a small prison but uh, I later came to realize that school was the best place to, to be. get discipline mm. and to be. True. Because once you're out of high school, mm. that's all. Mm -hmm. Any girl who is in high school at the moment should mm. take advantage of those four years. Being under rule. Being under rule. Mm. We, it doesn't matter which rule, mm. but take care of that place. Take, take, take advantage of that place. Okay. So, nilivotoka, nikaona dunia, yani, unajua unafanya kitu, wakuna mtu atakukataza. Ulizu ina mtu. Eh. Mm. So, nikajipata... I'm in love, unajua. Mm -hmm. Nika sema, okay. It's okay. Mm. It's, it's good sometimes to try new things. Mm. Trying new things, ndio yo pap. Mimba. Nika kuchange. Si, <laughs> hata sijui kana ni mimba kwanza. <laughs> uh -huh. I started changing. Mm. Naona tutushavu, tumanza kukuwa kuwa. Mm -hmm. Bando, niko kwa sister angu. Mm. Nika toka kwanza kwa sister angu, nikaenda busia tena. Mm -hmm. Kwa kazi ni angu, unajua sao. Umanza kuchange drastically, mm. uwelewe mm. ni nini. Mm. Na siku moja ni kamuita, ni kamambewa, ebu kuja tuende kwa hospitali. Naona kila siku tu ni kikula, natapika, kichwa kinauma. Nini, yani, I'm just, everything has changed in my life. Mm -hmm. Kwenda kwa hospitali kupimwa na ambuwa ni kuna mimba. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Mimba, at mm. 19. Mm. Hi. Okay. 
nikaji cancel me mwenyewe mm. that was my my first time to, to cancel myself you know mm. sometimes mm. you need people's opinions uki seek people's opinions mwingine atakwambia toa mwingine mm. atakwambia fanya hivi mwingine but i just cancelled myself mm. i advised myself i looked at myself mm. nikasema maybe ni mungu mm-hmm. kuna wengine wametafuta hawajapata true so i just accepted myself in life you have to accept yourself first mm. before anybody else tells you something mm. or judges you yeah you know, so that's how you avoid people judging you mm. when you accept yourself it doesn't matter what people will talk about you hata mm. mm. you have already accepted your situation mm. and accepted yourself true. so nikasema hapana Mm-hmm. Wacha tu niende kwa mwenye amenipatia mimba. Mm-hmm. Tulivoongea na yeye pia. So my problem started from there. Ulipomwambia una mimba. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hakukataa. Mm. Alikuwa Muislamu mm. na alikuwa Mwarabu. Oi. Akanambia mm-hmm. kitu cha kwanza ni ubadilishe dini. Mhm. Cha pili ni wende amekuchukua ma- mnaishi sasa. Sasa si yeye ana ni masharti sasa napewa. Oh, lazima mm-hmm. ubadilishe, ubadilishe dini. 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 Mhm. Na jina na jina na kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Sasa <laughs> kizungumkuti. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nikifikiria mama yangu mm. nikamhurumia kwa sababu gani? Mm. Unajua wa mama wetu waluya. Mm. Wanatufunza kupika. Mm-hmm. Wanatufunza kukaa na, na mabwana. Haya mm. ni mafunzo yenye wanakufunza kuwa nyumbani mm. kama hauko shuleni. Mm-hmm. So au upenda mm. kama ni kuolewa ni ndoa mm. ye mwenyewe akutembeze mm-hmm. akufikishe kwa mume wako akupeane mm. mkono unaona mm. mm. kama hizo mm. so niliona kwetu itakuwa ngumu ndio wewe huyu kwa karibu kuchomoka nikaenda tu mhm kajibeba mzima mzima nikaenda nikabadilisha dina nikabadilisha dini <laughs> ukabadilisha jina kila kitu ukabadilisha dini, dini. Ukabadilisha mavazi. Mavazi nikabadilisha, ukajitanda. Nikajitanda kabisa. Ukaitwa okay. Swa Zuhura. Ukaitwa Zuhura. <laughs> Zuhura. Okay. Stay kucheka. Acha nisikize story. <laughs> And then so, mama yako so, utamwambia, nimeshapata so, mimba na niko na mtu aga. dini ni tofauti, nimebadilisha jina mimi si yule Eva na ninaishi na huyu mwanaume. Aliambiwa akaenda akafikishwa hospitali. Oh my god. Resha. Mhm. So ikabidi sasa sisi tujipange na huyu mm-hmm. nikaenda nyumbani mm-hmm. nikaenda hadi hospitali nikamuona akaniuliza mm-hmm. kulikuaje mm-hmm. because what i was planning for you is not what is going on mm-hmm. or what is happening kama sasa zingine mm-hmm. in life what you plan is not what happens true mm-hmm. i try to cancel her because maybe it's the maturity in me ndio niingia mapema nikiwa mdogo eh because uh, Eh, ah madada zangu wawili hawakulelewa mm. na mamangu na babangu mm. walipelekwa boarding mama oh, na baba walikuwa sasa wewe umeishi na wewe eh, sasa mimi ndo nilikuwa ninalea ndugu zangu wadogo wenye mm. kunifuata mm-hmm. sasa maturity ikaniingia mapema mm. so nikamwambia mm. aichukulie tu normal because eh, akanambia sasa umeolewa kwa ufupi umeolewa mm-hmm. na muislamu na mm-hmm. mwarabu niliomba mm. <laughs> 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 misamaha kama zote <laughs> Kitambo kuja kubali. You know this is not a laughing matter. It's not. Akaniambia mwambie afanye nini? Eh. Akuje. Mm-hmm. Kweli yule pia akachukua watu wake wakavaa makanzu. Mm-hmm. Sasa unajua kile kitu chenye kilikuwa kina happen kwetu ni kipya. Mm. Watu wanakuja nyumbani wa makanzu, mm-hmm. kwetu kwenyewe watu wajazoea kuona watu wa makanzu, mm-hmm. sasa wana wa Kristo. Eh sisi ni wa Kristo, sasa mm-hmm. unajua vile jazo. Na mm-hmm. kwa vile watu wanaona tu eh huyu ameanza kuleta waleta watu kwa boma. Mm-hmm. Mara hata wengine wanawashirikisha wana na ki, 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 ganga ganga hivi unaona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maana kama hawajazoea watu wa makanzu, mm-hmm. eh wale wanavaa makanzu. Eh, na kule ni ushago waelewi sana. Eh hawaelewi sana. So mm-hmm. Nime, nimepitia mengi mm. sasa kila kitu cha kimeha happen kwa maisha yangu ni kama kiko unique. Mm. Okay hiyo ikapita. Mso mkaanza kuishi. Tukaanza kuishi. Mm. Lakini sasa katika hali ya kuishi mm. nilikuja nikaona ugumu fulani. Ah? Eh. Unajua umeolewa? Mm. Umelelewa Kikristo. Mm. Umezoea kupika vyakula vya kikwenu. Mm. Hapa umefika unafaa upike vyakula tofauti. Mm. Fike eh, pilau kama kitu kama ugali hiyo sio nadra sana wa kule eh, ni nadra sana mm. eh, sasa ni pilau eh, main course tu kila mara mm. eh, asubuhi wa muke upike mahamri sisi mm-hmm. tumezoea uende amka enda shambani chuna miogo mhm eh, mshi yenye <laughs> eh, 
mwanzo na mkia mshi yenyewe inaitwa mshi yenyewe mshi yenyewe tanga tanga na maharagwe ile jana sasa ndo breakfast hapa ni wa mkia mahamuri mama yangu alikuwa anaita maharamu mpaka leo asha ameshindwa kuyaita asema maharamu Okay. Ima, wacha we take a short break. <laughs> we take a short break. Tutakaporudi tutaendelea na mambo ya maharam. <laughs> maharam. Hapa ni katika kikao cha sema na JG. kwa simu kwa simu registration kwa simu au hitaji hizi makaratasi ya kusainiwa ya nini <laughs> na hii digital sako mtu anaingia kivipi chukua simu yako sinya star sita eight eight four four seven seven ash ash kwisha maneno wali huku jua hiyo Karibu tena katika kikao cha Sema na JG ambacho kinakujia moja kwa moja kutoka Gracia Gardens Kilimani katika barabara ya Denis Street. Nazungumza na Eva na Mlanda mm-hmm. ambaye anatuelezea vile maisha yalivyokuwa. Mm-hmm. So Eva, mm-hmm. acha na maharama. Ni maharama ama ni maharamu? Maharamu. <laughs> Ume settle na huyu eh, ndugu mhm tamuita ndugu Exa. ambaye ni mwarabu mm. dini ni tofauti mm. mmepata mtoto wa kwanza mm. alafu mmepata wa pili ama hamjapata tulipata mtoto wa kwanza mm-hmm. sa eh, pia upande wa wazazi wake mm. kulikuwa pia na pingamizi oh, wazazi wake hawakukubali eh, mm-hmm. kulikuwa na pingamizi kwa sababu walitaka awe mwarabu mwenzake mm-hmm. aswa muislam mwenzao mm so kama na pingamizi tukakaa mbali nao okay tulikaa mbali na kwetu tukakaa mbali nao mm. so tulikuwa tunaishi tukivi yetu okay kapata mtoto wa pili asa nadhani pressure ya kutoka kwao ndio ilizidi mm. so nilikuwa na mimi mbaya tatu okay akabadilika mara akatoka ati ameenda kutafuta kazi Mombasa mhm sasa hizo mnaishi Busia Busia uh-huh. nikakaa siku muona kwa kujifungua mtoto wangu wa kwanza nikajifungua mamangu akaja kanishughulikia mhm nikatoka hospitalini mhm ndo nikaambia mamangu kenye kumefika mhm <laughs> mimi mwenyewe nimejionea huu ni mtoto wa tatu sasa mtoto wa tatu sasa at mm-hmm. 25 okay oh. mm. i was wow. i think i was so fertile mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> because i was never using family planning mm-hmm. so after every two years niko na watoto Okay. Okay. So nikajaliwa watoto wawili wasichana mm-hmm. na mmoja wa kiume. Mm-hmm. So nikiwa nimeshajifungua mtoto wa kiume, mm-hmm. nikajiongelesha tena mimi mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. Nikajiambia nitaishi maisha kama haya hadi lini, nimesoma. Mm-hmm. E, maana sasa maisha kama haya kwa house wife. Mm-hmm. But nilikuwa najikakamua mimi mwenyewe, nifanyie mm-hmm. biashara zangu, nauza tu nguo, nachukua nguo na design nauza. Nika save save pia. Mm-hmm. Nikaambia mama wangu sasa mimi penye imefikia najitoa. <coughs> Uh-huh. Mama kaniuza unaenda wapi? Nikamwambia usijali. Kwa sababu uh-huh. sikutaka nirudi nyumbani tena nimpe mzigo. Uh-huh. Na watoto watatu ni wengi. Uh-huh. Na hakuna mahali penye utaenda kwa mtu ama uh-huh. kwao. Uh-huh. So siku moja uh-huh. nikampigia simu nikamwambia nataka tukutane naye kwao. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu sasa sasa hatuonani. Wakati huo hujamuona for how long? E, karibu miezi tisa Oh god. Mm. Ako nje ya nchi ama ako nchini tu? Kenya na alikuwa Mombasa. Mm. So nikasema nikamwambia nataka tuonane. Mm. Tulivo ak, al, akakubali. Mm. Nikaenda kwa kwao mapema. Nikamwambia mamake nilikuwa nataka tuongee nawe. Sasa unajua mamake unajua kama mtu alikuwa haja kukubali mm. unaelewa. Mm. Eh anaona maybe it's a relief. Mm-hmm. Eh. Nikamuita akaja. So nikasema mm, na vile anakaa, mm. anakaa kikora kikora. Mhm. 
Unajua mtu asha kuchukua, asha kubadilisha dini, desturi, mila, kila kitu. Mm. Alafu, ye mwenye hafuati hizo mila na desturi. Mm -hmm. Amesha enda kombo. Nikasema huyu ni kama akona affairs. Mm. If not one or two. Mm. Lakini kuna vile. Uh -huh. So, akaji excuse kidogo, nikapata opportunity nika chukua simu. Kachokora simu? Simu yake. Mm. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nikaenda kwa sent messages si kuenda kwa inbox. Mm -hmm. Mana inbox lab data ngezimia. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> kwa sent messages napata, eh, ni mtu alikuwa kwa ndoa tayari. Oh my God. Hini yezitisa ashawa, hako na familia nyingine. Si, hata meekwa, yule mwenye, oh. wana messages ilikuwa zinaonekana na kama yule ndiyo bembeleza. Yani, oh. anabembeleza waishi. Mm -hmm. Mwanamke ndo mwenye pesa. Ndo mwenye pesa. Mm -hmm. Sasa nika chukua hizo messages, <coughs> mm -hmm. nika kuja nika onyesha mama yake. Nika mambea hivi ndo vitu eh, ambabio nime kuita, mm. nime waita ni kuja nionge na njini. Kwa sababu mwanao, mm. ni mda sija muona, mm. ni kuna watoto wake. Mm -hmm. Nimesikia. Mm. Na sasa hata dini ya kiislamu, mm -hmm. kwa sababu nikuwa nime soma soma dini kidogo pia, mm -hmm. inasema kwamba kama mwanaume akika mbali na mke wake mm. zaidi ya miezi mine, mm. hiyo ndoa tayari si ndoa tena. Oh, inavunjika tu hivyo. Inavunjika. Na okay. nimesau part, mm. tulifanya arusi kabisa. Oh, ya kisla. Tulifunga nika, eh. Mm -hmm. Sasa, nika mambea kidini, mm. hatu, sisi tena, si, mama ke hata kungoja ni maliza. Kana mbea dini, kama una, ni mamba kuna mbea tia kuna manamuke mwingine dini na nusu wana wakangapi? Lakini ni kweli? Wane. Ni kweli ndio lakini, mm. wakwanza uwe unamushugulikia. Una Okay. Unampa mahitaji yake mm. na watoto. Mm. Sio udamp mtoto wa mtu, alafu tena uende kwa relationship ingine na ingine na ingine. So, dini inaruhusu wakati unashughulikia majukumu Kabisa. ya mke wa kwanza, wa pili, wa tatu. Kama unajiweze. Uh -huh. So, hata wa nne uende kuoa watu, mm. unaoa huyu mwachana na huyu kwa sababu mpato wa pili ya dini inaruhusu hapana. Mm -hmm. Watu wengi na wana mistake hiyo dini. Okay. Eh. Dini mingi hata naona Okay, sijui kwa sababu wa kristu mimi, mm. siwezi, si criticize. Mm. Ata wa islamu siwa criticize, but mm. sasa unajua na criticize yo character. Okay. Eh. The person. The person. We are dealing with an individual, eh, an not individual. a religion. Eh, eh. Mm. Mtu akweke kwa dini, usome wa sheria na kila kitu. Alafu mm. sasa ye mwenye afuati mashariti. Mm. Inaumiza. Sasa niambia, sinilibaki peke yangu na dini. Mm. <laughs> na, na mila na desturi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nika sema sasa, ibui ibui ni kafua hapo. Oh. <laughs> Talaka si kungoja. Mm -hmm. mm. Mana wali niongelesha vibaya. Mm. Nikasema di, dini yenu ndo hiyo, kila kitu yenu ndo hiyo. Mm -hmm. Nikatoka. Na nimerudi kuhitu wa iva. Nikarudi kuhitu wa iva. Mm. Na nikambia mungu. <laughs> Mimi bado tuni mtoto wako. Mm. E, kila mtu ukosa lakini. Mm. Mm. Nisamea. Nima kosa nisamea. Ok, sasa umetoka. Mm. Na huko na watoto watatu. Mm -hmm. Moja huu ni mdogo sana. Mdogo kwanza mezi minne na oh, wote God. niliza na operation. Uuu. Hey. So, ulienda api ulirudi nyumbani kwa wazazi? Hey, Hapana. Nilienda busia. Mm -hmm. Nika chukua kama tres kangu kadogo. Mm -hmm. Nika pak. Yani vitu vyote nika hita mandugu zangu wa chukue wa. Mm. Ama watu wa chukue pote penye wataweka wa weke. Mm. Mimi muhimu tu. Mzigo wangu wa kwanza ilikuwa ni watoto. Mm. Ni, na tu pesa kidogo tuko kwa, kwa hizo siku zilikuwa ni... Post bank. Post bank. Mm -hmm. Kapsa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kuna ka, 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 tu pesa kidogo. Unajua kwa na pesa kako hata kama ni kadogo kana kufurisha kitu. Mm. Kalikuwa, Joto. Hey, mm. Ni kachukua mzigo yangu ambao ni watoto wangu. Mm -hmm. Na matres, ni kaeka ndani ya sky plus, <coughs> na ka stove, mm -hmm. na tusufuria. Ni kapigia dada wangu simu na hirobi ni kambia nitafutia nyumba. Mm. Nyumba enye kufatana na uwezo wangu kwa kadri ya uwezo wangu. Mm. Ilikuwa ni maybe places kama satellites huko. Lianza na nyumba ya mabati. Mm -hmm. Kabiria. Ye, hey, kabiria, mm. exactly. Mm. Kanza huko life. Mm -hmm. Pole pole tu. So umefika, umengia kwa nyumba, mm. na ulifanya vizuri sana. Mm -hmm. Kutoenda kwa watu na watoto. Wakati mwingine inakuwa ni mzigo mzito. Mzigo mzito. Sasa ume settle kabirian, eh, satellite. Eh, na watoto wako. Watoto What were you doing? Una survive aje? Niliku, zile pesa nilikuja nazo, mm. nilikuja pena kasto kufitenge, nini mm. kutoka busia. Mm. So nikaenda, nikauliza, nikawa na rafiki moja, nikauliza, nipeleke gikomba. Mm -hmm. So pia likuwa ni mfanyi biyashara, ingawa ya likuwa mfanyi biyashara ya kula. Mm. So tulikuwa tukirauka na ee, eh, mm -hmm. ya kenda kununua vya kula mine ndo pandwa sokoni, mm -hmm. na chukua manguo, na cherani. Kitu enya niliomba tu mama, mm -hmm. aninunulia ni cherani. Mm -hmm. 
ndio alinenunulia kwa sababu unajua kushona eh mm. so nikafika nikaanza ku design tunguo nguo mm -hmm. nikafungua kwa kibanda pia kwa barabara mm -hmm. naye Mungu aache mja wake kabisa mradi unatafuta kihalali mm -hmm. Mungu aweze kukuacha mm -hmm. nika ikawa inafanya vizuri mm -hmm. natoka gikomba kama saa mbili hivi nimefungua mm -hmm. duka nimeanza ku design design wasipata kila mtu amekuja mm. unajua tu design tulikuwa unique true eh sasa by saa sita hata ni karibu nafunga hata mm. eh nikiona bado kuna ka stock mm. kama nguo naacha msichana wa kazi juu nilikuwa nimekuja na msichana wa kazi mm. anabeba we, watoto mkubwa ndio alikuwa amanza baby alikuwa kama miaka mitano au sita hivi mm. ndio alikuwa amanza class 1 mm -hmm. so hao wengine si wako na ye. Mm. kuja wakaya hapo akimaliza afunge mimi saa hizo nimeenda kuchukua vikoi na tembeza wow nishukie hali ngamu mm. nizunguke dio di nizunguke mm. tena nirudi ulikuwa unauza eh wow. nauza vikoi vikoi na hoku mmebeba kwa mabega hapa mm -hmm. zingine kwa kichwa mm -hmm. zingine kwa baga kwa mgongo mm -hmm. <laughs> that's nice eh na and it, it was earning actually mm -hmm. so nikaona eh tena nikaendelea tu kusave mm -hmm. sasa nikaona maisha ya <coughs> Nairobi nikasema hii mm -hmm. Mombasa hii wanaisikia Uh -huh. Nataka niende nitembe Mombasa nijue Mombasa ina kaa vipi. Ufuate bwana. Labda. Unajua sasa <laughs> bado akili bado ni changa. Kuna uh -huh. na 25 uko na watoto watatu. Watatu ya. Yeah. Sasa <laughs> akili ikasema ah labda vile tumepoteleana mm -hmm. anaweza nikumbuka. Uh -huh. Nikatoka nika kuna msana alikuwa anajua penye wanaishi. Mm. Nikaenda nilipofika. Mm. Nilimpata yule mama mwenye alikuwa amemooa ama wamooana mm. sijui ni nani alikuwa amemooa mwingine kati mm. yao mm. lakini mama ndiye alikuwa anaongea sana mm -hmm. akanaambia mm. e, tupatie watoto Allah e, mm -hmm. huyo mama alinipatia options mbili umefuata mumeo mm. anaongea na hiyo Kiswahili yao ya Mombasa hiyo wewe umefuata mumeo nikamwambia mm. ndio mm. baba watoto sasa hizo sasa sisemi mume <laughs> baba watoto e, baba mm -hmm. watoto mm -hmm. Akanambia ukitaka baba watoto wako utakuwa ukija kumuona lakini leta watoto hapa. Kuna yani sasa nisimpatie options za ati at sasa yani nipate opportunity ya huyo sasa mm. bwana kukua akikuja akiniona. Mm. Fata na yeye alikuwa amefika aliona amepata bwana. Mm -hmm. e, unajua kuna mtu unaweza wewe sasa kwa mfano labda mimi nilikuwa sasa labda nimechoka roho imechoka nia imechoka kila kitu kimechoka. Mm. Lakini kwa kaya alikuwa amepata bwana kwa sababu pia umri ulikuwa umemzidi. Mm. E, sasa ama akanambia <coughs> E, nikae na watoto yeye atakuwa akinipea pesa. Oh, mkae kwake. Ah, nikae tu mbali. Okay. Eh, nikae tu mbali. Unachagua lipi? Eh, nikamwambia hapana. Mm. Yeye pia si ameolewa. Mm. Wazae wao. Mm. E, kama yani nilitaka nione situation vile inaendelea. Mm -hmm. Sasa hiyo ndio ilinitoa roho kabisa. So ume, umetoka huko. Mm. Na huko na watoto watatu. Mm. Haujakaa na bwana. Mm. Haujapata usaidizi. Kabisa. Where did you go to? I came back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. First I surveyed the situation in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. After surviving the situation in Mombasa nikaona ninaweza survive because I'm a hustler. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Unajua anything that can make you earn a living or any place that can make you earn a living mm. is worth mm. eh yeah, running for. Okay. So nikasema hapana, acha nirudi ni Mombasa at least Mombasa nyumba ziko cheap. Eh yeah, cheap pia na ni affordable. Eh yeah, affordable. Okay. Mm. Nikakuja tena na watoto wangu mzigo wangu ya kwanza. Kapak bag zangu na watoto. Teremka. Eh. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Utatumia mabasi yao? Nikapanda mabasi. Mm -hmm. Ah, siku ah, yao tena niliacha kabisa. Uh -huh. Sisonge. <laughs> Nikapanda ilikuwa sijui ilikuwa inaitwa nani Rana coach. Mm -hmm. Kuna kagari kalikuwa kanaitwa Randa, Randa, mm -hmm. Randa nakumbuka mm -hmm. kamili basi hivi. Huyo Mombasa. Kwa mm -hmm. Mombasa sasa Kiswahili ni ni weather ime change. Mm -hmm. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, toka wapi? Mm -hmm. By the way watu wa Mombasa ni wakarimu sana. Sana. Watu wa Mombasa nilitoka huku sijui naenda wapi. Mm -hmm. Nilipofika Mombasa kwenye stage mm. hawa mama kuuza mandazi nini mm. nikaoniza mm. mm. nitapata api nyumba ya rais hivi mm. karibu na beach beach hivi bali mm. penye naweza au eh kuna manyumba si mara shanzo mara nani mwingine akajitolea mm. na mizigo yangu tukaenda tukatafuta nyumba na watoto na mizigo mm -hmm. Nili, nakumbuka tuli haya ka pick up mm. So Eva umefika Mombasa, umepata nyumba. Mm -hmm. Umeanza kuishi, bado uliweka biashara? Yes. Okay. Nileka biashara mahali panaitwa Bora Bora. Mm -hmm. Bora Bora pale kulikuwa na ka restaurant. Mm. Ambapo ilikuwa ni meeting point. Mm -hmm. mm. 
meeting point ya wageni foreigners oh. na locals mm -hmm. so mimi nikaweka ka biashara yangu hapo mm -hmm. chini ya mti mm. kajenga ka kibanda vizuri mm -hmm. nikaa nauza tena manguo hivyo hivyo wow eh na mm -hmm. obits mm. vitafunio tu tu juice juice Mhm. Mm Ilikuwa anafanya vizuri pia. A normal kiosk kama yenye tunaona tu. Kabisa eh. Uh -huh. mm. Na sigara, kila yani a normal kiosk. Mm. Mm. Biashara pia tena hapo ikaanza kunoga. Mhm. Mm hapo sasa tukasahau tena mambo ya mzee sasa. Mhm. <laughs> Uka, <laughs> sasa mzee umesahau mambo yake. Ah, Nikasahau mambo yake sasa nika concentrate na watoto tu na biashara mm -hmm. na kulea watoto. Mm -hmm. Castle. Mm -hmm. Hadi 209. Mhm. Mm hapo hata sijaonana na mamangu tena. Mm. Mm. So tuo nine ukapata mzee. Sasa tuo nine kitu ile hapa. <laughs> <laughs> mamangu aliona mtoto wake amepotelea Mombasa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Akasema acha siku moja aje nitembelee. Mm -hmm. Akaja akanitembelea. Mm -hmm. Unakuja kunitembelea? Mm -hmm. Unajua sasa majirani. Mm -hmm. Hambe huyu msichana kazi yake ni kuamka tu asubuhi, kurudi usiku. Mm -hmm. Unajua Mombasa hata ufanye kazi gani? Mm -hmm. Bado tu ataona wewe ni kama unaenda Mhm. Kutafuta haba. Eh. Mm. So akanambia na unafanya kazi gani? Kama mm. mama mimi uuza manguo. Mhm. Hata wasena alikuwa anakuja mpaka hapo nyumbani, mm. wanachukua manguo. Sasa nikitoka nimebebana na mizigo. Mhm. Sasa kuna siku nilikuwa natembea tu kweli. Mm. Nikapita restaurant, unajua most of the times meeting points zangu zikuwa anga restaurant. Mm. Tuna, naenda pale ni itishe ka kinywaji ka kahawa ni kingoja mtu aje mm. amenambia nitakangua haraka na mm. sherehe fulani mm. i was uh, flexible mm. as in una uza mangola lakini uko flexible unatembea nazo mm. maana ukifika asubuhi mtu ashafanya order kuna wenye amefanya order yes. so ukitoka kwa nyuma unajua umezibeba mm. eh so nika nimeongoja mtu aje anakuja kuchukua nguo mm -hmm. normally wakikuja tunaenda kwa washroom ya restaurant wanapima wanapima mm. nikirudi kaka hawa kangu kako hapo kama angaliwa mm. so nilikuwa nasiptu kaka hawa kangu na ngoja msichana uh, customer mm. nikaona mzungu amekuja amenisalimia mm -hmm. lakini alikuwa anaka kama ame akona stress mm. so akanielezea kidogo naweza ongea na wewe naweza kujoin nikae na wewe mm -hmm. kaambia kuna shida kanza kunielezea shida zake. Sasa unajua sisi tu huwa tunafikiria sisi. Mzungu sasa ndio anakupea shida zake. Kabisa? Okay. Si ufikirie sisi ndio tuko na shida. Sasa mm. nikasema kwa roho yangu sasa mimi nikipatia tukio shida zangu nimpatie huyu. Mm. <laughs> Atatoroka. Okay nikamsikiza. Shida yake ilikuwa nini? Alikuwa ameletwa na mzungu mwenzake ambaye alikuwa ameoa mwanamke mkenya. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa tu walikuwa na nia yao wafungue biashara hapa Kenya. Okay. So hawa mm. yeye wakamwambia atoe kiasi fulani kama around 4.5 million. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm ya katoa e, share yake mm. walipofika Kenya hakuwaona uh, walikuja tu wote na ndege nini mm. wakambuki kwa hoteli wakakaa siku mbili tatu nne wakaenda missing na pesa na pesa oh my god sasa yeye akabaki mm -hmm. tu aki, anafikiria akienda shopping mall ama wapi atawaona atawaona mm. so alivonielezea nikamwambia wameshakuibia mmm wameshakuibia bila shaka mm kitu ufanye <coughs> unaweza rudi nyumbani mm. kwa sasa biashara ukikuja na wenye wamekuleta biashara so, na wewe ubi mm -hmm. same flani yes e, itabidi urudi nyumbani akasema hapana mm -hmm. akaanza kuniuliza historia yangu sasa akanambia nishakwambia yako na yangu mm. wewe sasa ashaniambia upande wake sasa mimi nimwambie yangu ha mm. wacha nilianza kuanzia mwanzo <laughs> wacha cheke <laughs> <laughs> Alicheka mm. ali mpaka ah kuamini. Mm. Akanaza ndio this strong. Nikamwambia yes. Mm. Because in life kitu ya kwanza ufai kuweka. Unajua wazungu mm. watu ufikiria wazungu ni watu wenye wako na raha kwa sababu wako na pesa. Mm. Mzungu akiwa na stress kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni utajua hata hata ataishia kwa hospitali. Mm. Lakini sisi tumezoea hizo stress. Hakuna mm. hata vala. Eh tumezoea kuamka asubuhi kwenda kulima kwa, 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 kwa shamba ugwarwe mm. gwarwe na vitu kirudu. Mm. Hiyo ni kawaida. Mm. Lakini kwa hata kitu kakimugwarwe ni stress tayari. Mm -hmm. So yeye yeah, aliona mimi niko strong kuliko hata vile yeye alikuwa. Mm. Kufuatana na vile nilipitia. Okay akapendezwa na story yangu. Mm. Akaona ah hapana. Mm. Huyu akanambia kuna biashara tunaweza fanya mimi na wewe. Mm -hmm. Nikamza sasa biashara gani? Mm. Na utaweza kusimama ukikuuza. Eh. Wewe utaweza ku... mimi natembeza mangoo. Sasa mm. akasema hapana. Mm. Mimi home mm. kwao sasa UK. Mm. Ana deal na biashara ya magari. Mm -hmm. So anaweza kuwa kizileta Kenya mm -hmm. alafu tuna tunauza. Okay. Eh kasema hiki ni kizungumkuti mm. okay nikakubali mm -hmm. kasema unajua in life it's good to, to try new things mm. 
nilipokubali mm. akaniambia angependa kujua kwangu mhm mm katoka hapo mm. nikifikiria tunaenda kupanda matatu akasema yeye hawezi tumia matatu mhm mm kaingia kwa taxi nika smile kama mzungu unajua kusmile kizungu mm. naangalia akanda alafu na smile mm. unajua kiafrika <laughs> eh nikasema eh mm. hapana mm. matatu sawa mm. akapanda taxi tukaenda nyumbani kwenda nyumbani tukapata mamangu ndiye alikuwa amekuja kuniona <laughs> na ameona mtana aka ameingia na mjini anaambiwa akasema kumbe hii ndio kazi anafanya Mombasa anaambia hapana mama huyu ni customer anatafutia demu yake mangua akasema hapana mama akasema mimi ni mtu mzima akamwambia sawa mama vyovyote vile wewe kwanza tulia tumekuja amekuja kuwatembelea ni mgeni unajua saa zingine pia huwa anatembeza wageni eh unajua kuna namna utamwambia akatulia sasa tukakaa kidogo tukaamka ndiko hapa nimeishi kwa single room tuko shanzu sasa eh shanzu tulipotoka hapo tukarudi paka hotel ndio kwenye alikuwa anaishi mhm akaniambia anaenda kesho kurudi UK mhm Anaenda kesho. Mm. Na akienda kesho mm. ako na namba yangu ya simu. Mhm. Atanipigia kitu saa nne kama ashafika. Mhm. Eh so mimi nisijali amesha ameshaniona penye naishi nini kila kitu. Kumbe nilivomwacha hotelini akawa naulizia ulizia watu hoteli mm. hapa na Mombasa mtu akitaka kuishi kwa compound yake nyumba ni kiasi pesa ngapi nini kitu kama hivyo. Mm. So kesho ya asubuhi nilipata fursa ya kumpeleka airport. Mm. Nikarudi nikaendelea biashara zangu kawaida za nguo. Mm. <laughs> eh, hey, akaenda. Mm. So, nilivorudi nyumbani, ah, nikasema acha nipumzike kidogo. Tukakaa na mama tukiongeaongea kesho yake asubuhi, mm. kweli saa tatu. Kasikia simu inalia. Mm. Namba ya nje. Mm, Kaspokea. Kanambia nimefika salama, lakini angalia simu yako vizuri. Mm. Angalia simu naona message. Western Union, sijui MTCN siku question mm. nini. Mm. Eh, Marango ya kwanza na sijai. Eh? Je, je, shughulikiwa namna hiyo na mpya? Mtu akinishughulikia, niliona Mungu. Mhm. Okay, niliamka, amekutumia pesa. Eh, sasa hata sijui. Same ni instruct wewe nenda kwa popote penye unaona maandika Western Union, ingia. Your secret code, your secret code na nini kila kitu nikaenda kwa Western Union. Town. Mhm. Nikaenda. Nilipofika nikapatia ile msichana secret codes na kila kitu mm. aka 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 akaniangalia nikaanza kusema sasa tena nimekosa mm. ah akaanza kuhesabu pesa naona tu pere 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 hata kwa mimi hiyo inaweza kuwa yako la shanga mm angalia vizuri mm. anaendelea tu kuhesabu hesabu 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 iko pesa karibu 180000 wow kakunja Mm -hmm. Mbezi sote ni zako. Mm. Nilitoka nikaenda kwanza kukaa chini, badala kukaa kwa kwa bench. Nika mm -hmm. Nika vizuri fahamu I think ikarudi, fahamu mm -hmm. nilipotea kidogo lakini ikarudi. Mm -hmm. So nikaamka, nikachukua nikaeka kwa baga haraka, nikatoka. Nikaenda mahali penye at least naweza mpigia simu ni muze hizi zote ni za nini. Mm. Unajua vile tulilelewa nyumbani, mm. Kuna vitu vingine vikikutendekea lazima ujiulize. Mm. Mm. Hizi zote kwanza nzani. Nakaniambia hapana. Mm. Nenda katafute nyumba. Mm. Lipa miezi mitatu. Mm. Kwa compound yako. Mm. Ninua vitu vichache mimi narudi. Mhm. Mm eh. <laughs> Nikasema sawa. Mhm. Mwache mama nyumbani. Mhm. Nikaenda kuna mtaa ulikuwa unaitwa Vesco 2. Mhm. Nenda katafuta nyumba, ka nyumba tu kwa compound yako, ka three bedroom, kazuri mm -hmm. tu sika ba mkahamia hapo nikatarisha kila kitu kizungumkuti tena kilikuwa ni kwenda kuchukua mama na watoto mm -hmm. mama akaniuliza tunaenda wapi mm. nikamwambia wewe usijali mm. <laughs> Tuna, tumepata mahali tunahama mm. katoka kaingiza kagari vitu vyenye vilikuwa vimebaki hapo nika kadonet donet tunajua mm. tukasaidia wenzako hey, mm. tukahama So Eva umepokea pesa kutoka kwa mzungu yeah. umehama umehamisha mama yako yeah. did mzungu ever come back well he came back in a, it was in september he came back in december uh -huh. in january tukaanza biashara akikuja oh. alikuwa ashaweka magari kwenye meli also oh, akaanza biashara ya yeah. magari uh -huh. uh -huh. tukaanza biashara ya magari uh -huh. kawa si mbaya uh -huh. nafuta akiweka magari kwenye nini meli ana import na jina yangu uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. Alafu zikifika tunatafuta mm-hmm. buyers. Mm-hmm. Tukiuza mm-hmm. anani lipa. Mm-hmm. Hivyo hivyo tukaendelea tukafanya hadi 2013. Oh, so 2013 then, mm. akawa ni mgonjwa. Oh my god. Akawa diagnosed na pressure mm-hmm. na kansa. Mm-hmm. Ikabidi sasa tukasikizana. Mm-hmm. Arudi kwao apate matibabu. Mm-hmm. Maana Kenya matibabu Yeah, ni begali. E, begali. Mm. Na pia aliona hataki kunipa mzigo. Mm. Unajua wengi wao akiona mm. amefika umri fulani na anataka kurudi kwa atakwambia tu kweli. Oh. Kwa sababu hata hivyo hatukua tumeoana. So biashara mlifunga ama alikuachia? Tuliuza tukagawana percentage. Oh, he mm. gave you some money. Yeah, he gave me some money. Mm-hmm. So nikasema hizi pesa kuliko kuzi west. Mm niweke kwa account mm-hmm. pia watoto walikuwa wanaanza kuwa wakubwa wakubwa sure e, nisomeshe watoto mm-hmm. na pia ni invent kwa kitu chenye kitaniletea pesa so oh. nikaendelea ku invest i mean mm. nikainvest kwa maanguo mm-hmm. na pia nikaanza band mm. ka register band oh that is how <laughs> sasa <laughs> eh. nimeelewa nimeelewa eh. Hivyo ndivyo ulianzisha hiyo bande yako. Hivyo ndivyo nilianzisha bande. So mbona ulitoka Mombasa ukaileta Nairobi? Mombasa eh. wanalipa pesa kidogo sana. Oh. Alafu Mombasa pia ni seasonal. Biashara ya Mombasa mm. iko seasonal. Kama hakuna mm. wazungu hakuna pesa. Oh. Wazungu akija kuna pesa. Lakini mm. sasa kama hakuna mm. low season na high season. Na Nairobi hakuna high season na low season. Mm. Nairobi ni business ina run. Azin kama kwanza hii ya band mm. tushere ni twingi. Mm. Vitu ni vingi, activities ziko mingi. Okay. Yeah. Mam sasa mlisikizana, mlielewana. Se, okay. Mam alirudi nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Nikawa na nikamwanzisha hata foundation ka nyumba vile ile yenye baba alimwacha ndani mm-hmm. si yenye yuko ndani saa hizi. Okay. Kaungana na madada zangu. Mm-hmm. Tukamu wekea ka kanyumba tu so you are now friends yeah we are friends okay we forgive <laughs> she forgive me actually mm-hmm. na pia ameona ile bidii nimeweka kwa maisha okay kulea watoto as a single parent is not easy i know, easy. I know. so I mkubwa know. alimaliza shule akaenda utalii college mm-hmm. anafanya kazi zake kwa hoteli mm ako CJ's pale mm-hmm. na pia amenipa mjuku hey congratulations thank you wow 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 <laughs> mm mm-hmm. So Apili alimaliza Precious Blood. Mhm. Riruta anangoja kwenda university. Mm-hmm. Na wa mwisho kwa hospital hii. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mungu atawabariki na atawajalia. Amen. So baada ya mzungu kwenda amekupea pesa umeanzisha band. Hakuna mm. boy child mwingine amekuchekesha? Ah. Wakuchekesha <laughs> wako wengi but sasa si atilima nani vile. Do you want to date? Well. Saizi kuna mtu atachukua nyanya. <laughs> I'm a grand a, a grandmother. <laughs> Mimi shows sasa shows eh nita shows. Kuhu. Mm. Mm. Eh so kama kuna mwenye anaweza okay I'm, I feel sometimes I feel young mm. sometimes. But when I I'm busy mm. huwa nasahau. But when I'm just seated unajua kuna wakati mm. unaweza kaa unaanza kutafakari. Mm. You just feel young. Mm. You need someone to flatter with. Mm-hmm. Not really to flatter with but at least kuzeeka na yeye. Eh e, nikipata mtu mwenye tutazeeshana. Mm. Yeye pia anataka mtu wa kuzeeshana na yeye. Mm. I, I won't mind settling down again. Huyo mtu mwenye companion mwenye unafikiria mm. ungependa mtu wa aina gani? Who is that ideal A man? Very much a person. Mm-hmm. Eh, who can handle me? Mm-hmm. A mature understanding person. Mm-hmm. No na. Mm. Mtu mwenye ako mature na ako understanding. Mm. Eh, someone who can read your pages and understand. Mm. Not a judgmental. Someone who can start judging me. Mm. Bona uko na mjukuu saa hizi. Why is this and this happen? You know some mm. things are natural. Unataka yeah. kuanza ku question about nature. <laughs> Hakuna <laughs> mtu hata hakuna mtu hata kuuliza swali ati kwa nini uko na mjukuu. Some people are funny. They do ask such questions. Well, hakuna mtu mwenye huwa anaamini kwanza kitu ya kwanza ati niko na mjukuu. Kabisa haukai. <laughs> na <laughs> hivi vitu vinajitokeza si wanawake wengi wanajitokeza hivyo. Uh, anyway, Eva, kwa sababu ya muda and I asante sana kwa kuja ku share your story and haswa hapo mahali pa kufanya kazi kujikubali mwenyewe mm. uh, kuendelea na maisha and by the way did you ever get talaka talaka hiyo mm. not naturally oh after umekaa na wewe pia miezi nne hiyo inaisha hiyo baba usha, umewahi kumuona baba ya watoto nishai muona mm. kuna wakati first born wangu alikuwa anaenda shule ikawa mm-hmm. ni huko mm. Said za nyumbani maana vile tulihama kutoka Mombasa tukija Nairobi mm. 
shule aliitwa za Mombasa. Mm. Sasa nikaona niko Nairobi tena maisha ya kurudi huko ni Mombasa mm. kama ni magumu. Nikampeleka shule za nyumbani. Sasa kwao wamesetwa Lubungoma. Mm. Sasa nikimpeleka nikapeleka huyu first born akaenda akamuona. Okay. Nikamuonyesha. Okay na second born pia na third born kuna wakati nimekuja nikapanga tu kama tuko kwa covid hivi. Mm. Kawapeleka wakaenda akaona baba wao. Unajua sitaki kuwaweka kwa masharti kwamba kama kwamba nimewafungia. Uh, 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 uh. e, unajua ukifungia watoto kuna wakati wanaweza kukwambia tunataka kuona baba yetu. Eh. Sasa si kutaka hiyo ifike. Okay. Nilijitolea tu mimi mwenyewe nikawapeleka. Mm. Sasa wakakaa kwa kaka kaona eh culture. Wao wanaongea Sijui kama wao wanaongea unajua wana simu zao. Oh. Eh but niliwaambia kipiga ama wakitaka kumpigia wampigie mm. niliwa set free. No, ni baba yao na shoshoni sawa. Eh ni baba yao mm. na mtu kama baba mm. ama mama mm. ni mtu mwenye huwezi replace. Okay. Eh unaweza kuwa tu na baba mmoja mm. na mama mmoja nyanya mmoja hivyo. Mm. You cannot mm. replace. So Wow, mwelekezi wangu ananiangalia na niambia Joyce time imeisha. <laughs> eh, hey, na story imeisha. Na story imeiva. So, um, Eva, lile tu nitakutakia ni baraka. Amen. Na Mungu akupatie hiyo eh, tamaa ambayo uko nayo ya kuwa na companion na kuletea mtu mzuri. Amen. Na Mungu akutendee mema na watoto wako na kila mtu. Amen. Nikiwa na imani kwamba tutapatana tena tuendeleze huu mjadala ama tuzungumze zaidi. <laughs> tutapatana Nijue tena. Nijue kama companion alikuja. <laughs> <laughs> Bila shaka tutakutana. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you kwa kutegea kikao cha sema na JG. Tunaendelea kuhoji watu mbalimbali mbali, watu tofauti tofauti. Kumbuka ni mazungumzo ambayo yameletwa kwako kwa hisani ya Digital Circle. Thank you so much.